morning, man. Good morning, LC. We're here in Cedar City, Utah at the All-American Classic Diner. The food was okay. Uh, you know, not bad. It but did the job. Hey, we're on day two of our Sturgis run. Today, we're going to head up to Escalante, show Juan that backbone. Uh, then we're going to run up to uh, Torrey and try to get to Grand Junction, Colorado today. About 400 miles. We can do it. Hey, Juan, come here, man. What's up? How you feeling today? I'm feeling great. I'm ready to crush the miles. Are you? Yeah. Well, right. At least that's what I'm telling myself. All right. Well, where's Junior, man? <laughs> What's, what do you guys want from me? What are you going to do today? Ride. Right. There you have it. We'll hey, see you guys down, down the road. road. We're here in the 14 outside of Cedar uh, City, and it is an incredible run up this canyon. We're going to head to Escalante, then up into Torrey. We're going to show these guys Boulder. No one's been on this road except for me. You're going to be in for a treat. God damn good day. Good day. Fired up. Dude, these roads are amazing. Never been here and uh, it's very beautiful. A lot of green stuff. Yo, what are you doing? What am I doing? What are you doing? I'm filming. What you Come doing? on. Junior, how do you like that it? That was pretty sweet, except for now we're stuck behind this little Come roadblock. On. Come on. What do you think about those cows? That's stoked on us. Uh, they did like the little kicks as they uh, walked by. But, just uh, got excited. They, they love seeing humans. Little guys there. Hey, yeah. What do you think about these clouds? We don't get a lot of clouds in, in Southern California. What, what are you doing back there? Well, you know, I had to uh, relieve some action there, but uh, this is grand out here, I think. Relieve some action? Yeah. What does that mean? You pissed? You saw me fucking my pants. <laughs> well, I'm sure glad we chose to come the 14 to the 12. And I wanted to show you guys that run through there, the Dixie National Forest. It, it was epic, wasn't it? I got to tell you, it was a beautiful morning. I mean, watching the scenery that we rode through and the weather was perfect. It was a great, great surprise on a road we've never been on. Yeah, for sure. It's nice to uh, finally get out on some two lanes and not as much ripping on the uh, interstate. Now we get to see these open plains, and uh, no complaints, loving it. And you guys have been on this road a couple times. Uh, we're headed into Escalante. We're gonna show Lance and, and Juan the Escalante backbone. Lance has been on it uh, in a truck and, and so forth, but it's gonna be surprisingly great for them when we get there. Yeah. Well, what's really great about this is uh, we have white puffy clouds. So the last time we were here was clear skies. Yeah, buddy. So I think we're gonna have a whole different view. It was really fun riding down it last time. We got some incredible shots, but yeah, looking forward to riding up that and uh, just having some fun catching the shots. We're at a nice pace today and uh, just making our way towards Grand Junction. I know sometimes we talk about the white puffy clouds and stuff like that. We just don't get them that often in Southern California. It's usually pretty clear blue skies, but you know, to have this out here every time we come out this direction, it just, it's awe-inspiring for us. It reminds me of uh, being home, actually. Yeah, well, the cool thing is, is we had a nice breakfast, we're full, but you know what? I'm looking forward to lunch, and I think Escalante is gonna have a place where we can eat. Ooh, I wonder if the desert doctor's there. He might be wrenching in Sturgis. Yeah, I'm thinking so. I'll have to go say what's up to him. We'll check it out. All right, boys. We're about to get into this beautiful canyon here, keep the head cam on for a few minutes, and, uh, Let's get into Escalante. Right on, see you down the road.
Hey guys, we're here at the Burr Trail Grill. We just came off the Escalante 12. We're headed up to Torrey, then to Hanksville. Man, great food. What a great run, too. What do you guys got? Out in the middle of nowhere, I got a lamb burger and a, <laughs> and a truffle aioli with my fries. It's bomb. Mm. Spicy chicken sandwich, fire with the, I don't know, the thick cut fries. 10 out of 10. Lamb patty, onions, tomato, some uh, spicy looking fries. I got a Caesar salad with some fried capers. Josh got the uh, beautiful French dip. Looking good. Obviously a couple beers. We'll see you in Tory. Man, what a rad area riding through here. Beautiful country. Yeah, I gotta tell you, this 12 does not disappoint when it comes to nice pavement, curves everywhere, just being able to rip. Wide open spaces, free flow, no traffic, beautiful weather. Hell, what else do you ask for? Love watching the line of bikes just crest around the corner. Whoa, 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 <laughs> What's up? Whoa, 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 yeah, buddy. <laughs> well, we are in open range, so that's something you have to watch out for out here, but man, is it beautiful. Everyone's good, everyone made it. When he was going, whoa, 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 I was like, what, is his back end coming out or what's up? <laughs> and then there's that big old black cow. Well, well, that was actually a calf. Well, that calf had his back end hanging out. Yeah, buddy. We got traffic now. Here we go, slow flyer, slow flyer from Arizona. So this is Boulder Mountain, and uh, we're working our way to Torrey. If you go back to one of our drops, we stayed in Torrey under some uh, covered wagons, which was pretty cool. Yeah, Torrey's a great place to stay. I mean, uh, if we could see them from the road, it'd be great to show everybody. Definitely different than the last time we rode through here with all the snow. For sure. Well, hey, let's make our way to Torrey. Let's do it. So we're uh, rolling into the Broken Spur and Tory just to show the guys the uh, covered wagons we stayed in last time around here. Pretty damn cool. Look at that flag. So look, we uh, came out of Escalante, up into Torrey, went over Boulder Mountain, which is incredible. I don't know, can't beat the day. And the road was like perfectly paved oh. and just so awesome. And just, we all had a good time just trailing through there. It was great. Yeah, that lunch was great, but I think it's kind of worn a few of our dudes out. Yeah, a few of the guys are kind of cashed in, but hey, that's what we do on the open road. We've got about 200 <laughs> miles down today. That's um, it? Which is not a lot. Well, you know, when you're carving the canyons, it just it's hard to get up to 100 miles an hour. We did 70, but. And we're here because we wanted to show the boys the covered wagons that we stayed in. Yeah, we had a drop where we ended up coming through Hanksville. We're skunked and ended up here in Torrey and beautiful covered wagons. But we got to get up to Hanksville now and we're going to try to get to Grand Junction today. How far is Grand Junction from here? About another 200 miles. We can do it. Easy. I mean, we were in the green trees, we were in the, the red rocks, and now we're on I-70. What's the plan? Yeah, I mean, that route especially, you see so much change throughout the day. We're hopping on the 70, and I guess we're heading towards Grand Junction. 
I think it's about, what, an hour and a half from here? Yeah, it's about an hour and a half. I, I wanted to take you guys with the Shaws on that 14 when we saw them last year when we came into Moab, but that thing does not disappoint. What a beautiful ride. Then we caught the 12 over through Escalante, grabbed the 24 up in Hanksville. And we're sitting on this I-70, which as we get closer to Denver is going to be epic riding as well along the water and, and getting up in the Rocky Mountains there. But we'll probably stop here in 10 minutes in, in Green River and gas up and get some water and then head to Grand Junction. Well, it's amazing. We went from about 10,000 feet, uh, 60 degree weather. It's uh, 95 degrees right now at 4,500 feet. Wow. So uh, a lot of changes. Look at that. Man, there's been a couple of times today you just come over a hill and it just opens wide up to a completely different scene. And that's, that's one of my favorite parts. But uh, yeah, looking forward to it. Well, we're going to have a good night tonight. We'll get in uh, probably around 7, 7.30. Enjoy the evening. Have a beer and some dinner and do it all again tomorrow. Oh boy. Yeah, buddy. Yet again, one more storm off in the distance there. You can see the uh, rain coming down, but we've just got a couple drops. It's been going smooth. I mean, we've missed, I think, uh, five or six major cells that have been off the side of the road. Yeah. Well, we missed a bunch in Nevada. We missed uh, some today up in the mountain range there. And now as we broke into Colorado, we just missed a big cell there. Pretty lucky. <laughs> they look great. I'll tell you what, in the past five minutes, uh, it's gotten quite a bit cooler. It feels great. Yeah, they look great and they're exciting to see. And we all just start talking and uh, having a good time looking at them, but we're missing them for sure. Well, the air gets heavy and, you know, you get the smells that come with all the grain and the different trees and plants out there that radiate this intense smell. It just it's awesome. Yeah, it is. Good times. So we were thinking about going to Glenwood Springs, but looking like what? Grand Junction? Well, the plan was to go to Grand Junction, but now we're thinking maybe we push an extra hour and go to Glenwood. All right, we'll find out. I think Glenwood sounds like it might be on tap because I think uh, Josh is jonesing for some of that Mexican food they had there. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, Tequila's Mexican restaurant, Bloodwood Springs. That was uh, that was pretty damn good. Yeah, so, not bad. I think they're open till nine too, so we'd get in there maybe eight, eight-ish, I wanna I hope say. So. What time is it now? 6.15, go right to the restaurant. Yeah, we may have to do that. Yes, sir. I guess we'll see what happens when we get up here closer to Grand Junction, which is only 14 miles away. That works for me. All right, well, let's do this, boys. Damn beautiful out here. Great day for a ride. Talk to you down the road. Later. Made the push, huh? Made that push. Got out of Grand Junction and came up here to Glenwood Springs, a place we're familiar with. I love that I-70. That canyon is so fun to rip. Yeah, buddy. LC, the man, the myth, the legend. How you feeling? I'm uh, feeling good. Can't wait to eat. Love to ride. I look like shit. I feel like shit, but I'm happy. I feel like shit. I feel like shit. Was it worth the push? Way worth the push. This town looks nice. I'm glad we're a little further today. It was it was a harder day. My legs and butt were starting to hurt. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was a moment, as you saw, I was kind of falling asleep halfway through the day, just like due to the hangover and the alcohol started to like really beat me down. This place looks super nice. Uh, got second wind, so I'm glad we all kind of like agreed to keep going and stoked to check out that historic place and grab some dinner. Let's do it. 
Well, there's nothing like riding and settling in for the night and having a great meal and a couple cocktails with the boys, is there? I mean, one of my favorite things is when you roll into town, you unpack, and you go to a restaurant, you sit and talk about the day. That's great. I mean, we got food, we got drinks, and, and it's like the chill time. Always yeah. good. It was one hell of a day. Had a great run. Uh, we pushed it a little bit further to get into Glenwood. I'm glad we did that. We'll have a little bit shorter run tomorrow. How many miles did we do? Like 520, was it, guys? Right around 500. Yeah, not bad, not bad. So we were just here. We went to Sturgis without a rally, and now we're back here again. Yeah, we were here in May, <laughs> actually. The, we dropped the girls off at Rapid City Airport, right. and we were flying down to Kingman to go visit our friend Jim Hinckley. And we stayed here that night. Pretty cool. So tomorrow, I think we're going to go see Doc Holliday's grave. Yep. I think we're going to see the old town of uh, Glenwood Springs. Yeah, downtown, yep. And then we're going to be heading into Lusk, but good times. Well, let's eat. What do you guys think? Juan and I are starving. Juan looks like he's got a kitchen sink for dinner. Yep, that's right. I don't mess around, dude. I was freaking hungry. <laughs> but honestly, Josh's plate is the most, like, kind of mind-blowing. Yeah, Josh has a full load right there. Oh, yeah, he's got the full load for sure. <laughs> what did you get, Juan? I got the two Amigo plate. It's got the carne asada with bacon wrapped shrimp. It's got rice, it's got beans, and guacamole. It's freaking dialed, bro. I got the double shot enchilada, and I got a double shot Casamigo back to back to back. Galen and I are going like, you know, we're sharing a four enchiladas, so two each, you know. That's what we're doing. And Josh's plate is very desirable, but I don't know what the hell it is. What is it, Josh? That is called the Burrito Acapulco. Bomb as hell. Well, let's, uh, let's get to eating this grub. We'll see you tomorrow. Uh, maybe close it out tonight. Maybe later. Maybe later. Down. What is going on? Well, we're here in Glenwood Springs. Glad we made it here, but man, we caught some thunder and lightning tonight. Uh, it's amazing. We are here in downtown Glenwood Springs. We haven't spent a lot of time here. No. We are going to explore a little bit tomorrow. We'll go up to his uh, grave site, but we're having a, a beer down at Doc Holliday's uh, brewery or uh, saloon down here. We're in front of a purveyor that has all their stuff. Pretty well, crazy. This whole town is kind of like Doc Holiday. I've seen some Wyatt Earp stuff, but it's a lot of Doc Holiday because he actually died here up by Bullocks and his grave is up the street. And we're going to go see that tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, there's paying homage to him here and it's, uh, it's a great thing. But I think the next time we come through, we need to stay on this side of town. Right, right. And there's this old steakhouse down around the corner I saw. I mean, we should we should spend a little bit of time on this side of town. I think it'd be great for us. Right, now the rain is calming down right now. Yeah. I know it's supposed to end about 11, but we do have some shots waiting. We did a lot of miles today. What, 350, 400? Five. 500, look at it, I'm off there. Well, 500 miles. How did we just traverse the to get here? We walked across a bridge where we weren't supposed to be There's walking There's no across. pedestrian crossing. We're walking across in traffic. So hey, it's all the fun stuff we do on the road, but um, great day. Tomorrow's gonna be really great, but I would definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can see what's going on because we do a lot of fun stuff. Yeah, please do. And, Enjoy uh, us. Hey, see you tomorrow. Boom. There's no
Thank <laughs> you.